Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer images from your iPhone to your Mac. Now I do know that a lot of people have actually had trouble with this because I have been getting uh, a fair amount of requests about how to do this or uh, how to perform this task uh, without actually having to select each image and then email it to yourself. And the iPhone gives you a limit of six images that you can actually email to yourself and then download. Uh, and then some people were actually concerned about loss of image quality while doing that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how simple and easy it actually is to transfer images straight from your iPhone onto your Mac. So without any further ado, let's get straight on into the video. All right guys, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is plug your iPhone into your Mac. Now, of course, I am using an iPhone 5, but this will work with basically any Apple device, such as an iPod Touch, uh, an iPhone, or an iPad of any generation. Now, also, you do not require using the official Apple Lightning cable, since mine is actually plugged into my Grove dock over here. I do have a third-party Lightning cable that I am gonna be using. So basically, all you do is plug it in, uh, and you should see that it starts to charge, and of course, iTunes has it open up on my computer over here uh, and now let's actually go straight onto the computer and show you guys what happens all right next. guys so after the iPhone is plugged in and I am going to show you guys uh, what to do here so basically what you're gonna do is come up here to your um, little search over here uh, on the top right I believe it's called spotlight and what you're gonna do is search for a program called image capture now this is actually built into every Mac so you don't really have to worry about not having it on your Mac because it is actually pre-installed so you don't have to download any external software so what you do is hit image capture and you guys will see your iPhone show up here on the left side now this doesn't just work for iPhone I'm talking basically about iPhone iPod touch iPad uh, essentially anything really so now I'm gonna look down here for an image that I may want to capture or move on to my computer Computer. So I do have some pictures of a painting that I was working on at school. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually uh, select multiple pictures by actually holding down shift on my keyboard and selecting the ones that I want. Then what I can do is either come down here and import them to a folder, import all the pictures, or actually just drag and drop them. Now I prefer the drag and drop method because I find it a lot easier and I don't want to have to go through the hassle of importing them to a specific folder and then actually going to have to look for them. So what I'm going to do is hold down onto these images, drag them onto my desktop, and let go. So these are very small images, but if I'm going to be transferring something like a video, it's going to take a little longer. Um, and not that long even. It's actually a very quick transfer and from there you can actually delete these images straight off of your phone if you would so desire or leave them on there. So anyway guys, that basically does about conclude this video. This is a very easy process that I just thought I'd show you guys because I actually did get a couple requests regarding it uh, and I thought I might as well just make a video and show you guys how to perform this pretty simple task. So if you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really awesome if you guys could leave it a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. It only takes a second, it's free and will keep you up to date with all my latest HD content. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.